Today we're going to try a little experiment. I've seen others talk about this and I thought, what the heck, I'll give it a shot. I'm going to see if I can take my blow off CO2, connect it to my keg full of sanitizer, let the fermentation CO2 purge that keg, and then have it ready for use once the beer is finally done. So let me grab the camera off the tripod. I'll take a few shots of how we're going to put this together. I'll set it up and then we'll see what happens. Should be interesting. There's the keg. I'll top it off with sanitizer and it'll be ready for use. There's the fermenter doing its thing. And what really made me start to think about this is I've got a very active fermentation going. So I thought, let's put this uh, whole thing to test. This is about day three of the fermentation, so I really got to get going because it's going to start slowing down sooner or later. But let me set it up. We'll take some shots and see what we got. Okay, so I've had this on for under a minute. And look at how quickly it's already starting to push out that sanitizer. Again, just a normal setup on the keg. But we're really moving along pretty quick. Based on this, I would give it, I don't know, an hour or so, we might be done. I'll click on a few more shots in a bit. Okay, it has been one hour, and that's how much got pushed out already. I ran some errands and came back, and it looks like it's really slowed down or maybe even stopped. I don't know if the pressure needs to build up more in the keg, the lower it gets, but uh, so far, I'm kind of surprised, and I'll keep an eye on it. So I dumped it out, and I put my tube, well, I tilted the keg to make sure the pickup tube was getting everything from the bottom. Put it in this little glass, went out to get a fresh cup of coffee, and look, just about filled up. So we're getting the balance of it. I'll uh, turn this off so I can swap that glass out. But uh, pretty amazed how quickly it, it purged that whole keg of star sand. So I just swapped it out. I put this pint glass in and you can literally just see it filling up. So we're making good progress here. I'm going to go ahead and finish this little three gallon keg. I'm going to fill up my five gallon keg and do the same thing and see what happens. Because as you know, I tend to do an eight gallon batch in my fermenter here. So I'm going to have a big keg and a small keg. But this has been a really interesting experiment. Take three. Here we are. The transfer of all that star sand from the keg is done. You can see now it's just the CO2 going into the keg, pushing out, and kind of just doing the normal blow off type setup. So I'm prepping up the five gallon keg right now and hook that up and uh, see what we get. Okay, I had so much good luck with that little keg. I went ahead and filled up this five gallon keg. And as you can see, I'm draining from the keg I'll use into yet another one that I can get sanitized for future use. Let's see if I can look inside there because it started flowing really good right away. There you go, you can kind of see it. So this is an interesting approach. It's uh, quick, super easy, puts to use the CO2 that you already are producing. It might be worth something to look at. I went out to do some things. I came back and it looks like the full transfer from one five gallon keg to the other is complete. I'm going to call today a success and frankly a surprise. I filled the kegs with star sand, completely purged them. The small one, the three gallon keg, in about one hour. The five gallon keg after that, let's call it two, maybe two and a half. It's interesting because you're producing all the CO2 anyway, I figure why not put it to use. So I'll close my uh, video with this thought. Is this something you have to do or should do? No, the answer is no. But I challenge you to think, why not? If you've got the equipment that supports this kind of thing, give it a shot, save some CO2, and we'll catch up with you later. Thanks again for watching.